Alright guys, and welcome along to another Monday Modding! And there is a weird sound effect coming from the uh, mixer and amp and that. Ah! Oh well, we're just going to have to roll with that. Oh, my headset's stuck. <laughs> I've not been sat at the computer all day, which is a new one for me. I normally get at least something on coming on and checking stuff. But anyway, Monday morning, we are doing handbrake sounds this week. So, we shall begin by heading over here. First of all, you're going to need a link to this. It will be the first link in the description. This is Carl's How to Add Handbrake Sounds to Drive Control Mod. Now, we're using this mod. He does link, there we go, the sound files. And when you click that, download it, you end up with this. So you get handbrake warning, pull and release. They're not perfect, but once you've got it in there, you can change the sound files and how you see fit if you find other ones. Right. So once you get that, and obviously you need the handbrake mod itself. This is over a mod hoster. And when you pop that open, you end up with that. There. So the only thing you would do is open up the handbrake LUA. And then you get that. There you go. You get that one. That's the handbrake LUA. As it is, before we do anything with it, that's what it is. I believe. Does it just mean that look different? Why does it look different? It shouldn't look different. Have I changed the colour? I think I've changed the colours, haven't I? Yes. So I've even changed the colours. Well, I just can't leave anything alone, can I? <laughs> so <laughs> right then. So we have that done. And then what you need to do is pull the pull, the release and the warning into the folder. Have it unzipped in your mod folder, da 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 da. I say put them in there and then we can crack on with editing the script. Which just became a lot harder to do because I've tweaked other things. So we'll come here and move to other view. So we can compare now. Right then, the first things you have to do is in the load section, you have to load the files. Now I've done some checks here as well, and I have the ticket, that's for turning it off. Uh, it's for running a check, I think. I'll explain it when I get down to it and I remember what the hell it does. But yeah, we've got those two in there, and uh, then the handbrake sounds. I believe this is using a different one to the way I used to do it in 15. Using that drive control, this is different. And I can't remember where I got this example from. It was studying someone else's scripts. I did this weeks ago. But anyway, this works, as you all know from the Let's Play videos. So let's split them up just to make it a bit easier to see here. And they got self handbrake sound, that's what it is. And then you put that inside that. So that's what we'd call in the script. That is what's going in it. And da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. My knowledge of this is not perfect for me to explain it all, but this does work. So once we get this sorted out, put a space in there as well. So there's what, four sections then to tweak up there. Now, as we roll down here, where do we need? Be. Can we make it to match perfectly? That's close enough, isn't it? Right then. So we're into the update now then. Uh, da -da -da -da. Pretty simple. Handbrake key. Yes. Yes. And then we get to the juicy stuff that we've been tweaking with. All right. So if not self handbrake state, then play the sample handbrake release. That's after the input binding has had an event. Yes, I think I've got my head around this now then, so that's just a toggle, basically. So if that's that, then it's not that, which makes it not that. <laughs> and if it's not that, then it becomes not not that, and becomes that. <laughs> the toggle works, but it, it can blow the mind sometimes. You've got to be awake and had a good cup of coffee or tea and yeah. Be fully functional to get your head around a not not situation. <laughs> I do anyway. <laughs> so, if it is not the handbrake state, which means the handbrake is on, which is weird because that's backwards, isn't it? Unless I've got the sounds backwards. Yeah. Anyway, if it's not handbrake state, then it will play it. Handbrake release and handbrake sound play. So where's that one picking up on that? <laughs> okay. Mind blown. I do not know what that flickery thing is. 
What is this doing then? Aha! I get you. Right, yeah, so that's just turning that sound off. Correct? Handbrake sound, pull, release. Yeah, that's just a beep, beep, beep. So when you put your foot on the pedal and your handbrake's on, it uh, tells you no. So if that's that sound, so yes, the handbrake's released. If that sound is playing, then it stops it because you've just released the handbrake, so it doesn't need to warn you that the handbrake's on. And we have the ticker being reset to one. So that goes to false, that goes to one. All right. If it is on the handbrake state, then you're putting the handbrake on. So it would play that sample instead. That's what the else is there. So we work our way down a bit lower. And now we're in to the goodness over here, aren't we? So, ah, no, nope, that doesn't make sense. I can't remember what the original colors were, but I didn't like them. So I changed it. What is it RGB? So that's red for on, green for off. Yes. Anything else I've changed there? Nope, we don't believe so. It's just the colours. So that's red, green, RGB. Yeah, red, green, blue. And that's your alpha channel. Setting that to zero and make it transparent. Handbrake switch two. So have I put them in? Nope, nope, nope. That's something going on in here. If the handbrake, so yeah. But we don't need to twist that anyway. I'm just uh, talking about the colours there. Trying to get my head around what's doing what in there though, but it doesn't actually matter for anything we're doing, so don't fix it if it ain't broke. Ah yeah, I remember this bit. <laughs> Input. It's greater than zero, yeah. So if you touch the pedal, then well, it's, uh, this only works really because I use shuttle control. Otherwise, it would just laugh at you, I believe. Even if it was in reverse, it would laugh at you. But yeah, without shuttle control, if you press the brake button, I don't believe it would actually beep. It would just try and go backwards. If you're not using shuttle. But I'm using shuttle, so it works for me. I don't know if shuttle actually changes that round. There's something to check, isn't it? Where are we then? So, if not, that's the warning, isn't it? Yep. Right, so that's playing the beep, beep, beep. Yep. Yep, that's playing that. If the handbrake sound play, then self ticker equals self ticker plus one. Uh -huh. So every time that runs through, the ticker's going to hit. And this should turn it off. Yes, and reset the ticker. Awesome. So it doesn't loop, it only plays once and then it kills it. Job's good. All well, that is pretty simple. So, handbrake release, handbrake pull. That's controlled up there. That controls the beep, beep, beep. Job's a good one. But apparently there is an issue with this in MP. It has been discovered on the daily server. I wasn't witness to it myself. Handed it to Enzo and the guys. So I don't know if it's the handbrake itself or just adding these sounds to it. But it doesn't like it. It causes issues on multiplayer. There seems to be such a gap between single player and multiplayer in FS17 that it is hard to control. It's, I won't be able to figure out what the issue is and fix it anyway. So for single player, if you want to put sounds into your handbrake, awesome. This works perfectly and is doing for me sound on my Let's Play. For multiplayer though, there is a problem. Well, we can't have everything in the world, can we? Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I hope you understand that. Enjoy, that's it. The links are in the description for the files you need, the sounds, and the handbrake itself. And have a play. So it's all on screen here, so that's something for you to copy over. Enjoy! We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Ladies.